Hi everyone, this is Pat Prokop and, and a very unusual event, a tornado warning in the end of July, near the end of July for the city of Savannah. You don't see this very often, but it was a rough one this afternoon, early evening particularly on the south side of Savannah and particularly here in the Coffee Bluff Plantation area where my weather station and garden is located. Now, my rain gauge here, I measured 2.92 inches of rain, but a lot of the rain came down. It was coming down sideways in this storm. So let's take a look at this storm. First of all, let's take a look at the video itself. And uh, I was shooting the rain from the balcony and at first it started coming down as just straight rain with some gusty winds, mostly just starting uh, just uh, heavy rains coming down straight. Then the wind started to pick up just a little bit, uh, but the rains are just more of that, just uh, uh, very heavy rains with a lot of thunder and lightning. And as the rains came in, uh, the uh, radar summary was indicating some very intense thunderstorms across our area. And as a matter of fact, those thunderstorms were coming down from the north, pushing southward throughout the early evening hours. Now, the storm tops usually measured a, a very good hefty storm. It will be about 45, 48,000 feet. Now, if you get up to around 52, 53,000, 54,000 feet, you've got a really bad storm. That's the way it was uh, earlier in the week on Monday and uh, on then last Saturday. The, those storm tops are up to around 52, 54,000 feet. The storm top on this one today measured 61,000 feet up into the atmosphere. That's an extremely intense updraft that had to produce a, such a storm like that. And, and of course, that prompted the National Weather Service to put out the tornado warnings. Uh, radar was indicating very intense thunderstorms uh, moving into the Savannah area. You can even hear the tornado sirens at some times during this video here going off on the south side of Savannah. Now, the wind started to pick up as the core of that 61,000 foot storm top started to move over the uh, Windsor Forest area, Isle of Hope, or just west of Isle of Hope, uh, around Hotchin Memorial Drive, White Bluff Road, uh, southward to uh, Montgomery Cross Road, and then into the Windsor Forest area, then further south into Vernonburg, and uh, then into Coffee Bluff and Coffee Bluff Plantation area, where the intense uh, rains were continuing to fall. Now, I said I measured 2.92 inches of rain, but the wind was blowing side. Look at the wind there. You can see the my holly tree. I thought it was going to be a goner for a second there. I was watching it for a while, and uh, uh, the rains were very intense as the wind was driving it very hard across the, uh, the region. And uh, again, a lot of the rain did not make it into the rain gauge, I'm suspecting, because uh, uh, the radar estimation was much, much higher, over three to three and a half, even three to four inches of rain across portions of the uh, south side of Savannah. You can even see some areas where the rain was up to, uh, estimated by radar, up to five inches on the south side of Savannah and uh, in and around the Hodgson Memorial Drive area, Montgomery Cross Road area. There's a lightning bolt there. And uh, yeah, it was very intense uh, with that storm passing across the region. Now. As the uh, core continued to get closer and closer, the, uh, the wind started to abate just a little bit, but then they started to increase once again. This is where the core of the storm was now approaching my area. Uh, that 61,000 foot top on that thunderstorm, very intense, very uh, strong uh, uh, updrafts to produce a, a, a storm top like that. And there it's uh, coming over our area. And we're getting a lot of winds associated with the uh, downburst coming in from that thunderstorm. And the winds were kind of swirling around as well. And uh, look at the, uh, again, it looks like I, I thought I was going to lose my holly tree there. And the rains are really driving it now through and uh, blowing things around, as you can see right there, very intense. Uh, my anemometer did not measure much wind because the rain was coming down so hard, I don't think it could spin as fast. Uh, with the uh, water soaked air uh, flowing around it. It only measured like 20 mile an hour wind gusts, but I'm sure the winds are gusting over 50 miles an hour at times, uh, particularly in the tops of the trees. Uh, not so much on the surface, but uh, uh, I had no damage at uh, in my garden here, but uh, uh, well, it was, it was quite uh, uh, intense at times. Now, after the storm was over, and pushed to the south, the west of my area was under mostly sunny weather conditions. And that produced this, the golden sunset. This is 10 minutes after sunset. 
you can see everything was gold out there. Why was that? Because you know, the storm was now longer 61,000 feet. It was down to about 45,000 feet at this time, even 48,000 feet. But that very, very strong uh, uh, high storm cloud produced a uh, reflection of the sun from the west shining back into my area, giving us this golden sunset that we had. Again, this was 10 minutes after sunset this evening. And then, as the evening progressed, you know, with all the rains, guess what, you know, the frogs. Oh, they were very happy. Listen to them as they were chirping about out there. But, uh, yeah, not chirping, croaking. <laughs> they were croaking, having a good old time. They loved it. But, uh, yeah, it was an intense storm uh, right here in the Coffee Bluff Plantation area. Coffee Bluff, south side of Savannah, Vernonburg, Windsor Forest, up into around the Hunter Army Airfield, over to Montgomery Crossroad, the Isle of Hope region. Just skirted just to the west of Skidaway Island. Well, you don't get this too often in July. Tornado warning uh, with a uh, severe thunderstorm such as this. Uh, these type weather patterns usually don't produce tornadoes, but in this case, this one did. Uh, I, I never saw a funnel and I never saw any uh, actual tornado reports of tornado on the ground, but uh, boy, those winds, it was close. I mean, it was a good call by the National Weather Service to put that tornado warning out, but there, there was a lot of wind uh, blowing around in those trees and there was you know, every possibility a tornado could have formed at any given moment with the passage of this uh, immense thunderstorm. Uh, that moved across the south side of Savannah, across the Ogeechee River into Fort McAllister area of, of uh, Bryan County, into the Richmond Hill area, further south into Sunbury, and then it started to dissipate as it moved in toward the uh, uh, eastern portions of Liberty County. Still a rather intense storm there, but uh, not as intense as it was over the south side of Chatham County, uh, city of Savannah, and over in Coffee Bluff. But there you have it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I usually give a little bit more tamed weather information uh, on my Weather and Nature channel, but uh, uh, here you have it right here. Uh, so uh, I'll catch you later with additional weather information, hopefully not so bad as this, but I'll keep you posted uh, periodically throughout the next uh, several months, I hope, several years perhaps. I'll keep you posted right here on my Weather and Nature channel. So if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you see additional weather information. Of course, you know, the hurricane season is on the way. And uh, we're in the hurricane season, but it's kind of quiet right now. My last weather video, I talked about the hurricane uh, season, why it's been so quiet after barrel. Uh, a lot of activity in the um, Atlantic Ocean is quiet. There's no activity in the Atlantic Ocean. It's all quiet. And uh, part of that reason is the uh, Sahara dust over in the Atlantic Ocean uh, is inhibiting any tropical storm de development. However, that's going to be changing throughout the month of August as the, uh, the dust settles and the air moistens up somewhat and the uh, winds abate in the uh, mid and upper layers of the atmosphere, which is going to allow for a lot of tropical storm development. So keep your eyes on that. Again, subscribe to my channel. Uh, my Pat's Weather Nature channel right here on YouTube. So thanks for watching. Bye.